Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You're watching Oxmaker and we're playing some Valheim. Now, I haven't recorded an episode for a little bit. I have been playing, but not a lot's happening. Um, I finally got enough of the red cubes to be able to build my smelter. I found um, burial chambers here, burial chambers here. From the two of these, I didn't quite get enough. And then I actually found another, like, dark forest here which had a bit of um that actually where I got a majority of them from so I got like three from one and three for another but that's only enough to make one thing and this is a bit of a pain so I have built a little addition here um I got this all undercover I found these guys need to sit on the ground but you can squeeze them into a, a one square kind of area two by one I um, put down the panels last so I'd probably build more if I had the stuff that's required so you could have them all sealed up like that um, that's what I've been doing so I thought I'd just share some tips and stuff that I've been having um, so far um, tip number one don't forget to eat food takes forever to get your um, stamina and do things if you don't. Now one thing that I um, failed to realize when I went to the stone circle there and I hung up the um, the first boss, you, you can actually click it and you get this power which once you've done it you can just hit F to activate the power. So that's really useful. This one, I think, lets you run and stuff much longer. So that's something we can do. The other thing that I worked out that was um, really good was the... Um, once you end up getting a little bit of iron, one of the best things I reckon you can do is build the bronze axe. So I've got that guy now because that lets you drop down the these white trees. And you can actually get the um, the fine wood which lets me make the, a better bow and a few other things. So it's definitely worthwhile chopping down those trees now. One thing I'm currently working towards, you actually get the find from these oak trees as well. Just so you know, I actually think you get more from those. But they look really nice and I don't like chopping them down as much. Um, this is where I was up to. I've just been getting some more wood. Uh, I've been travelling further away from my base to do that. And I've been in the dark forest doing some mining. Because one thing I've worked out I can build, but I haven't actually been able to yet, is a car. Yeah, apparently I need some nails for that. Um, but yeah, when I when I get the car, it's only ten wood and some nails. I don't have either. I should be able to load up more. What we're out here doing today is getting what we need for that cart. So this here is my first copper node that I found. So this is all I've got left of my first copper mode. Um, I've been making a few other things, but it's really, I find you don't get much copper out of it. And I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. But 
luckily pretty much each one of these dots is a copper node. Also, the armor that I've unlocked here is actually the um, troll armor. So, most of the trolls I've found have actually been just wandering out. And I use fire arrows and a bow and I've taken them down without too many problems. You just kind of kite them and lead them along and take them out. I think using that method I haven't even really had a problem killing them. But I do find they sneak up on you when you're doing noisy things like mining. same stone. I wasn't actually sure if you could do that. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong, but I don't seem to get much copper out of this thing. So all this I've got seven pieces. I don't know if that's normal, high, low, or indifferent. And then that's the other thing that happens is I lose my pickaxe all the time. makes these mining runs a bit of a mission, but I'm enjoying them. Yeah, you got some more meat. I have been hunting some deer. Oh, that was so close. I normally still hunt with my bow though. I'm not the most accurate at throwing the spear still.
the, the biggest meat that I keep running out on is these guys' tails. As you can see, I've got, I got heaps of the um, sort of deer meat. When you kill them, you get multiples off each one, so it works out pretty well. These guys don't always even drop one, so... Kill them a couple of times. The other little tip that I've kind of worked out is if you want to get the birds. Misty. Yeah, these birds, best time to hunt them is during a storm. Um, you can do it no problems during the day like that. Like I was there, but during the storm I find they don't seem to fly away as much. It's always good just to grab them then. Right. So I've also built more storage too, because I found that I'm definitely outgrowing my old storage system. There are feathers. Keep hearing the, um, the timber cooking outside. So what I want is that cart, which is 10 nails. Alright, so I've got some tin somewhere. I actually have some bronze. We'll make some new stuff. I love how he walks when he's encumbered. Alright, so craft some bronze. So close, not being over encumbered. Therefore, we can make some more nails. So the other thing I was thinking about getting is this bronze pick. Hopefully, it lasts a bit longer. Core wooden ten bronze for that there. So we need I can't pick it up. Be forced to pick it up, there we go. Make another bronze. So I also need nails for making this guy, but he needs 60 nails and 30 fine wood. So yeah, these guys are where you get the fine wood, which is nice and easy to get. Let's make this cart. Shouldn't take us too long. Oh, that was close. 
<laughs> Nothing more fun than getting the trees to fall on yourself. I've actually died from that a couple of times now. It's not too bad when you're close to your base, but... The game gets so dark so quick. This last one might be here. I can carry it. Most of it. It's not cold anymore. Still carrying too much. Can we make this cut? Can. The bees are happy. walkway just wide enough. Maybe not with that stuff in it though. Look at that, that's fantastic. How do I... There we go. So this is why I've built this um, awning this way, because it stops the um, blocks from falling apart like they have here. You can see they very quickly degrade. So i got to do something to fix these ones up, but I will get there. So I get some cool. Still don't have enough bronze. Let's take two of that. for my pickaxe. Make 10. I'm not going to get there. This is what I'm dealing with. I just can't seem to get enough stuff. Put the core wood back there. Put all the metal back here. Charcoal can go in there. Got a heap of that now. Oh, let's upgrade the resin guys. It's got its own place now. That's what I spent a lot of time doing is reorganizing these chests. I'm not sure if I need those seeds or not. Alright. Let's see. Oh, I'll fix 
Kicks up this guy. Let's see how we go running with this. This is alright. Oh, this stand is a bit of a problem. I'll have to fix that up. I'm not sure. I've got a heap of copper left, so. When I get mining all these places, it should be enough to actually um, make the boat. I only need 80 nails, which is actually probably enough. Probably do that first. Nah. The pickaxe to get better copper might be the best thing to get first. He's getting damaged. Missing required crafting station. something it was getting damaged. Okay, so can we just build a crafting station here? And then go to repair. Yep. Fantastic. So when we bring the card out we need to make sure we've got ten wood or at least a working axe. We don't even need to bring the wood. Amazing how easy these guys become when you're efficient at killing them. That's probably a bit hard. Resources. I think one of my biggest factors has been that I can only grab a like, handful of wood or a handful of something and then I have to stop. 
the cart and its ability to store heaps of stuff. That should be a thing of the past. We can put all that in there and still drag it around, hopefully. So I want to get my new pickaxe. I won't be breaking this one all the time. shard there, is that all that's left? This could be problematic. <laughs> How do I fix the cart? There we go. No, no, no. Stay flipped over the other way. at the top of the hill here. That seems very steep and I don't know how it fell. Maybe I'll have more luck with this deposit. That's kind of, I thought I kind of ended up playing a bit more um, without recording than what I was actually thinking I would. Um, done a bit, but not a lot's really happened. Probably the most exciting thing you missed is actually the troll fights. Um, that's more just kiting them and accidentally dragging too many other people along with you. I finished it on the side. out my plan now for unlocking more copper 
get the axe so you can get the cart and then um, get the axe in the cart and then you're pretty much right to go. You don't need to do anything else. Actually with this cart now. Yeah. I don't need to roof. Can I actually build a roof over it? If I go like this. Oops. I don't even know what that roof connected to. Oh look, you can plug it straight into the trees and it gets supported. That's cool. What I'm hoping I can do here. Excellent. So I can come out here and mine the whole thing and just come back up here and repair stuff. And actually repair the car while I'm up here. Anyway guys, this is what I'm going to be doing. What I might do is bring you guys back once I've actually unlocked the, um, the boat. I want to unlock the boat and go for my first time sailing. I haven't actually built a raft. But now I've got the boat and the resources actually going to be ridiculous. I think that's what I'm going to be doing in the next episode. So, till next time, catch you guys then.